Really? She threw another tantrum? So, as you all know, the Acolyte was cancelled about a week or two ago, give or take. I honestly don't even remember at this point, because I've pretty much blocked the show from my memory by this point. But someone who clearly has not forgotten about it is the main actress, Amenla Stenberg, who played both of the very uninteresting leads of this show, and quite poorly at that. And we all saw, about halfway through the show, I think it was actually in between episodes 4 and 5, where she made some shitty diss track complaining about Star Wars fans being all the ists that liberals like to throw around. She calls them racist, sexist, misogynist, whatever you want. What, take your pick on one of them. She probably used it in that video. But I guess she wasn't done because she decided to throw a tantrum about this show being cancelled, as if the ratings weren't absolutely in the toilet. And that's what's funny about this one in particular, is that she brings up all of these stupid-ass reasons. Like, the main thing she talks about is that it was uh, conservative bigotry or some bullshit like that. Never once does she mention the fact that the ratings were absolutely abysmal. And apparently she's too stupid to realize that that's what gets shows cancelled. It doesn't matter if they're hated, if the ratings are even just slightly high enough, it'll get a season two. And you know what I just realized, which is pretty funny, and just how bad this show was, and how bad the ratings were for it to get cancelled after one season, that Velma got a second season, and this show didn't. Let that sink in for a second. That means the ratings for Velma were probably higher than this show's if it got a season two, and quite quickly at that. I don't even think it was a full year in between seasons. Which, you know, is used to how shows work until nowadays where each season takes two to three years to make. Or in the case of Stranger Things, it takes you five years to come out with a season, so... There you go. And th again... Never once brings up the, the, the abysmal ratings. The only time the ratings were even slightly high was episode 3, and that was the most trashed episode of television I've ever seen in my life. I mentioned this in the review, that people just flocked to that episode just to see how bad it actually was. To see all of the absolute dog shit that was shoved into a 40-minute episode of television. And so... And, of course, the people have attacked all the other people that have made fun of this video, including Star Wars Theory, which is basically the reason why I'm making it, too, because all of the Star Wars, or not the Star Wars fans, because this is the reason people didn't watch this show, is because Star Wars fans didn't want to watch the show. Actually, you know, that's something else I wanted to talk about, but I forgot about until now, so I'm going to get to this first, is that... They failed to realize that they told Star Wars fans who Star Wars shows should be made for, they told them to fuck off before the show even came out. And they did, and now they're complaining that they didn't want to watch the show. They told all the conservatives to fuck off, and now they're complaining that they didn't want to watch the show. This is the cycle that the liber that liberal Hollywood does nowadays. They tell certain people or groups or fans to go away and to not watch the show, and when they don't watch the show, they get pissed off and cry about the fact that they didn't want to watch the show and claim it on bigotry or some kind of... Or something of the like. It, it, again, that's the cycle they get into. That's why so many, so many shows get canceled after one or two seasons now. Instead of being, I can't believe I'm actually going to make this comparison, but the older CW shows were held the flash went all the way to nine seasons. Because even though the show got really hated in its later seasons, did they tell the fans to just go away if you don't like the show? No, they didn't. I can't believe I'm actually giving the CW credit here. Or hell, even... Oh my god, I can't believe I'm about to compliment this show. But Riverdale. I never once saw anybody, even Roberto Aguera Sacasa, who was behind who fully made the show, I never once saw him tell fans if they don't like the show, go away and don't watch that, or tell certain people to go away and not watch the show. Now maybe he did, and I just never saw it, but again, I never saw it, so I'm assuming it didn't happen. And guess what? That show ran for, what, seven seasons? I mean, that was, like, five seasons too long. But, and no, I haven't watched Riverdale. Don't, don't even, start, don't even ask if I've seen it. I haven't. 
I mean, I've seen a bit of it, but not the whole thing. But I'm, I'm getting off topic. But that's what's said. I've made comparisons that Lucasfilm is the new CW. Lucasfilm is worse than the CW now. And the funny thing is, is that the people at Disney haven't been doing this this time. Instead, it's the, it's the lead actress and it's the showrunner, Leslie Hedlund. They're all blaming everybody but themselves. And th again, that's what's pathetic about this, is that they did it to themselves. They told people to not watch the show. And then for some reason, they got pissed off when the people who they told not to watch the show didn't watch the show. Or they warned people that they weren't going to like the show if you didn't want certain things, in if you don't want pronouns in your Star Wars show. Or if you don't want the Force being absolutely gang raped. Or if you don't want Darth Plagueis being shit on. Or... Just the canon of the franchise, no matter which one you look at, the original canon or even the new Disney canon, where they can't even keep it consistent and just take a giant shit all over it. How do you expect people to react positively to your show and actually want them to get a second season? Hell, people will point at that one petition that was made on like change.org or whatever, and apparently it was already exposed to have people making multiple different Gmail accounts in order to put multiple signatures on there. So they can't even get a legitimate petition made to get this thing to a season two. And even at that, it's not even, doesn't even have that many signatures. So that's pretty damn pathetic. This show is probably the worst thing I've ever seen put on television. If I were to watch something like Velma or Santa Inc., I have a hard time believing it would be worse than this because this show was just everything wrong with modern TV. Let's put it that way. I was trying to think of something more creative to say, but that's what this is. It's everything wrong with modern TV, and it deserves to be buried in the ground, no matter how much the lead actress wants to bitch and whine about bigotry. So that's all I got, and I'll see you next time. Bye.